What's going on everybody? We're out here today filming another video. It's actually raining outside, so I'm not gonna get out of my truck yet, but I'm not too worried about the rain because we are waiting today. I'm very excited for this. A lot of you probably remember my summer videos where I was walking around in these rivers and creeks, and that's what I'm doing today. I drove by this place earlier and the water was crystal clear. So let's uh, go ahead and get suited up in these waders and get out there and see if we can catch something. It is raining, but I think we're still gonna catch them today. Let's go ahead and go catch some bass. All right, guys, so we are now arriving at our first spot. Everything actually looks very different here because everything has gotten washed out from the river. We've had all these heavy rains, so the river has actually like completely changed everything. Like this pile used to be up there. Oh, it's a little bit easier to get around when you don't have waders on. These are actually duck hunting waders. So they're very, very thick, but I don't have any just fishing waders. Usually I get in here without waders at all, but it is kind of cold still. So I'm not really wanting to do that. So we definitely got to wear some waders. Usually all of these rocks are completely underwater. Caught a lot of fish right here around all of these rocks. So the water is definitely down low for some reason, but since it is drizzling, Water level is definitely going to come up. I have this six inch square bill tied on. This thing should catch them really good today. The bluegill pattern is really good for the rivers and the creeks because it's very natural and those fish really love it. So we're going to try to catch some on this. If you guys do fish a lot of creeks and stuff and you do want to pick up one of these, go ahead and go get you one. All you have to do is use the code ADUB10 and you can get 10% off your order and you can get one of these bad boys. Hopefully we can catch a pig on it today. I'm really hoping we can. The reason why these square bells are so good is just because it's just banging on all those rocks down there and making a ton of commotion. And you can also cover a lot of water with it. In this huge pool, I mean, you never really know where those fish are gonna be holding at. So it's kind of good to be able to cover a little bit of water. And then whenever you get hung like I am right now, Usually you can get it to come off. Yep, see it just pulled right off. So that's pretty awesome too. If not, you'd be walking around this whole thing getting your lures unhung, especially with a Texas rig or some sort of bottom bait, just because those rocks, there's a tendency of that bait getting stuck down in between them. And it's very, very hard to fish. It wants to come off. I'm just scared to break it. Dad gum it. Well, there goes the money bait. That sucks. Oh well. Roll with the punches. All right guys, I'm getting a fluke put on right now. The fish are still jumping, which is good. I did lose my crankbait, which is bad. But, I mean, that's kind of expected whenever you're fishing areas like this. So, it sucks, but what can you do? We're going to try throwing this fluke now. I think it might work pretty good. They're coming up and eating something. They're jumping. So, I'm thinking that maybe it's some sort of small bait fish or something like that. So, maybe this fluke will do a better imitation it's higher up in the water column and it's white so maybe that'll make a difference I don't know but we're gonna try it maybe they want something shiny that's the only thing I can think of maybe we have to put on a spinner bait or a chatter bait got a little spinner bait tied on here now Oh my God, that's, that's scary. Oh my Lord, I almost just ate it so bad. These rocks are so slippery, they're covered in mud. Oh my goodness, that was so freaking scary. I thought I was about to die. Oh, 
Oh, that was a bite. Just had my first bite. Oh my God, one just took my freaking worm. Oh my goodness. Well, that's our first bite of the day right there that actually took the worm. Worm is gone. <sighs> that's frustrating. At least we know that we had a fish. I literally walked all the way over here. My bag's all the way over there. And these are some muddy rocks, which is very hard to walk on without slipping because they're covered in mud because of all of this crazy weather we've been having. Gotta get me another worm now. Hopefully to catch me a, a bass. Oh. Dang it, dude. Oh my gosh. There's a bass right here. Oh my gosh. I'm not even playing. There's a bass sitting right here next to this rock. Oh my goodness. It's a good one too. Oh my gosh. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm about to catch a fish with my hands. Okay, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but there's a bass literally sitting right there. He's trapped in this pool. He, I mean, he literally can't get out. Literally, there's a bass stuck right there. Oh my gosh. He's been sitting in here for way too long. He's had to be in here for a super long time. I'm actually going to record on my phone also. I want to get some footage on there as well. So we're going to go ahead and try to grab him. I'm going to film with my left hand on my iPhone. And then my right hand, I'm going to try to grab him. I think he's going to be very inactive because he's been stuck in this little puddle. He doesn't look super healthy, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to try to grab this bad boy. All right. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Where'd he go? Oh, oh. That's a three pounder. There's a three pounder in this puddle. Oh my gosh. We gotta grab him. Oh, he went through my legs. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. He was in between my freaking legs, bro. All right, guys, I have to get something to put in this hole. This bass is actually going ballistic. He's literally like moving all over the place. So I have to get something to kind of block up this little cut through. So I'm almost going to make a little dam. I'm just going to make a little makeshift dam. This water is very muddy now because as soon as I hopped in there, that bass was not having it and he was moving all over the place. So I honestly don't know where he is right now, but we're going to go ahead we're going to try to make a little dam right here so that he can't get through as easily because then I'll be able to grab him easier. So we got to get a couple more sticks, a couple rocks, and we've got to figure out how we're going to trap this bass in one side so that way I can actually help get him out. All right, guys, so we made a little dam right here. This is so the fish can't go back and forth. I can kind of keep him in a smaller area so that way I can grab him. I don't have a net or anything, so I'm going to have to grab him by hand so that way we can release him back into this big part of the river so that way he can actually live because he's not able to eat anything right here. So now we have to find this fish and figure out if we can grab him with our hands. I think we're going to be able to get him this time.
Where did he go? Oh. Here he is. I've got his head right here. I've got his head right here. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. 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 No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, guys. We're trying to save this fish. He doesn't want me to pick him up. Oh, he's in between my legs. He's in between my legs. Oh my gosh. We got him. Oh my gosh. We got him. <laughs> Look at that. We just saved this bass out of this puddle. Oh my gosh. This fish was stuck in here and I just grabbed him with my hands. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Super healthy fish. That's a two pound fish right there. Oh my gosh. That's insane. All right, guys. So I guess this technically counts as a, as a fish catch. So we're going to go ahead and weigh this girl. Oh my gosh. That fish weighs 3.21 pounds. That is a three and a quarter pound fish. Literally, we caught a three and a quarter pound fish by hand. That's my new hillbilly hand fishing PB right there. That's crazy. We're going to go ahead and get this guy back in now. He's ready to go. All right. We're letting him go. There he goes. Back out here to his home. Guys, that was absolutely insane. I was not expecting that at all. I'm just over here trying to catch a fish. And then I find a bass literally in a puddle right here where I'm fishing at. That's just insane. But hey, we got to save a three pound fish from death today. So I'm counting that as a win. Let's get back to fishing. All right, buddy, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to intrude on your home. I'm just trying to catch a fish. Oh my gosh, there's a big one right there. Oh my God. There's two actual big ones right there. That's like a four pounder. Oh my gosh. There's like a four and then like a three behind it. Literally swimming right there. They just came down from this way. Oh my God, he broke me off. He broke me off. Oh my God, he broke me off. Oh, oh, oh my God, no. No, he broke me off. What the heck, dude? Oh my gosh, this is what sucks about fishing around rocks. Literally. Broke off. What the heck? This is only 12 pound test because I thought I was gonna be throwing a crankbait all day. But no, they don't want to eat a crankbait. They want to eat a worm. But guess what? I don't have the right line for a worm. So then I just break off a freaking four pounder. Oh my goodness, that is so terrible, guys. I'm so upset about that. Literally watched a four pounder swimming right there, threw my bait in there and he ate it. And the next thing you know, I freaking break off. Like that is so freaking frustrating. Oh my gosh. That is so frustrating. All right, we got a white chatterbait on now. I'm hoping that, oh, I'm hoping that I can't break off with this as easily. Still is not the right pound line. I think next time I'm just gonna bring heavy pound test regardless, or bring two rods, like a smart person would do. But I'm hoping I won't be able to break off with this as easily. I think that these fish are actually, oh my God, there's one right there. There's two right there actually. Oh my gosh, they're right there. They're literally right there. Maybe they're spawning over here. I don't know what the deal is, but they're freaking sitting right here. All right, guys, we're rigged up yet again. Got a weightless black worm this time. I've also got some flukes in my pocket and some black worms in my pocket. I also brought a weight over here just in case they won't eat it weightless. I got a feeling they're gonna eat it weightless either way. Um, but I just did that just in case. Also brought the scale over here because if we catch one of these, it's going to be pretty awesome because these are, these are good fish right here. I mean, 
I've been able to see them. I mean, they're good fish. Oh, there he is. Oh my God. Really? Okay, at least that time I didn't break off. But, oh my gosh, he freaking slammed me. For some reason, he just like didn't have it all the way. That should be one right there. They seem to be eating it kind of off this little isolated wood. There's a little bit of wood on the banks and it seems like that's where they're at most of the time. Don't know. There he is. Got him. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that's actually a really good one. Oh my gosh, don't come off, baby. Don't come off. Don't come off. Oh my gosh, that fish is so freaking fat. Oh my gosh, that might be a five pounder. That might be a five pounder. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, literally in this little tiny river, we caught a fish this big, just choked the shaky head. Oh my gosh, look at that beast. Oh my goodness, that is unreal. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 come on. Oh my gosh. Guys, that is a freaking giant. That is a river giant right there, guys. Oh my goodness. That is a river giant. We gotta get a weight on this girl. This is the biggest one I've ever caught out of here. This is my PB for this section of the river. That is so freaking cool. Oh, I think this is a five pounder. I really do. As fat as this fish is, I think it's five pounds. Please be a five. Oh my gosh, it's so close. 4.62 so just over four and a half oh my goodness that is crazy such a healthy fish definitely about to spawn right over here that is so freaking awesome absolute fatty caught out of the river I'm gonna go ahead and get this girl back giant giant for this river oh my gosh that's crazy there's the bed right there I see the bed He's sitting there looking at it. Oh my gosh. That freaking sucks so bad. Like literally I can see a five pounder sitting right here. We're coming back. We're coming back tomorrow. I gotta go right now before they lock my truck in. But we're coming back. This is gonna be crazy. You guys stay tuned. These next couple videos are literally going to be insane. I'm going to be catching these fives and sixes off a of bed. You're not going to want to miss it. We're probably going to throw a GoPro down on the bed too. So you definitely don't want to miss this. Definitely be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below because this channel is about to get crazy. We'll see you guys later.